Hello everyone, welcome to Keep Learning at the Rate Be Creative. Before moving to the today's problem, please like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. So, let's begin with the problem. In the diagram below, the point D lies inside the triangle ABC such that angle BAD is equal to angle BCD and angle BDC equals 90 degree. Given that AB equals to 5 and BC is equal to 6 and the point M is the midpoint of AC, find the value of 8 times of DM square. So, this problem says that some information regarding this figure is given to us and we need to find 8 times of DM square which is this line segment. So, let's see how to simplify this type of problem. Now, this is a very interesting problem related to geometry and can be asked in different mathematical olympiad, especially where the integer value type answers are being asked. So, let's see how to solve this problem. So, as we have been given that angle BAD and angle BCD are equal. So, we have marked them as alpha here and alpha here. Also, we have been given that angle BDC is 90 degree. So, this angle BDC is 90 degree and M is the midpoint. So, we have AM is equals to MC. Now, here we are going to do a certain construction. Let us understand. The construction which we are going to do here is that we are going to produce CD in such a way that CD is equals to DE. Why do we think of a construction like this? So, try to understand if we join AE so, here you will have a triangle AEC in which on the line segment AC, M is the midpoint and if we produce CD in such a way that CD is equals to DE, then D also becomes the midpoint of EC and if you see that if we have two midpoints on the two line on the two sides of the triangle, then by midpoint theorem, we can say that DM will be half of EA. This is one type of approach in which this question can be solved. So, we have thought of the midpoint theorem because this M was given as the midpoint of AC. So, we have produced this in such a way that D has also become the midpoint of EC. So, our focus will be to find the length of EA. If we find the length EA, then definitely it will be easy for us to find the length DM. That is very clear to us that how to find DM with the help of EA. Let's proceed. Now, as here we can see that we have ED, ED equals to DC by construction. Then we have angle CDB equals to angle ED. B because this is a straight line so definitely by linear pair B D E angle will also be 90 degree then we have B D in common so what we can say that triangle C D B will be congruent to triangle E D B now if the triangles are congruent then we can say that E B will be equals to B C by C P C T as this is in front of 90 degree, so in front of this 90 degree, this length EB will be 6. As well as we will have angle BCD is equals to angle BED that will be alpha. Now, as we have marked this angle alpha, you must have observed that we have two angles equal, which are they? They are angle BED equals to angle BAD, which are equal in measurement that is alpha. So, what do we think that by the help of this what we can say? By the help of this we can say that point B, D, A, E are concyclic because this B, D is subtending equal angles on the same side of this line segment B, D. So, here you can say that B, D, A, E is are concyclic. Now, if they are concyclic you must have also observed that angle B D E that was 90 degree when we prove this angle these two triangles congruent and at that time we proved that this angle is 90 degree by linear pair. So, we can also say that this quadrilateral B D A E is a cyclic quadrilateral in which E B 
is the diameter. Now, if this is a cyclic quadrilateral, then what we can say about the angle BAE? So, we can say that angle BAE will also be 90 degree, which will be equals to EDB. How can we say that? You can see that we have already proved that BDAE is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, BE will subtend equal angles on the circle. So, that are point D and A. So, we can say that BDE angle and BAE angle will be equal that will be equals to 90 degree. So, let us mark that in the diagram. So, here we have this angle is 90 degree. Now, how is this going to help us? Let us understand. We have this angle is 90 degree. So, let us take out this triangle separately. So, if you see that in this right angle triangle, this angle is 90 degree and we have the measurement of two sides that is AB and EB that is 5 and 6. So, it's very easy for us to calculate the length of EA by using Pythagoras theorem. So, here AE will be EB square minus AB square and if we calculate this, this comes out to be root 11. So, the length of EA is root 11. Let us mark this back in the triangle. So, here we have EA as root 11. Now, what is left? We have to find the length of DM. So we can very easily see in this triangle EAC as we have initially thought of that D and M are the midpoints of EC and AC. So, by midpoint theorem, we can very easily say that DM will be half of EA that is this length and this length we have already calculated as root 11. So, therefore, the length of DM comes out to be root 11 by 2. So, here if we take 2 to this side with to multiply with, with DM, we will have 2 times of DM is equal to root 11 and if we square this quantity, we will have 4 times of DM square is equal to 11. But we need to find the 8 times of dm. So, if you multiply the equation by 2, we will have 8 times of dm square that is equal to 22. So, this is what was we need to find and here the answer to this question will be 22. So, as I told you, this question is a very good question based on the property of midpoint theorem as well as cyclic quadrilateral. Now, this question can be asked as I told you in the mathematical Olympias where the integer value type questions are being asked and this is a two digit value which can be asked as a question. So, I hope you have understood that how to solve such type of problem and apply such concepts in the diagram. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.